Hello, welcome. Let's try to solve another lead code problem. 1385, find the distance value between two arrays. So let's first try to understand the problem. So we are giving two arrays, array 1 and array 2, and an integer d. So this d is just a uh, distance. So we're going to return the distance value between the two arrays. So let's just try to understand what is the distance value. So it is defined as the number of elements in array 1. So for each of the elements, we're going to compare. So such that there's not any elements, array 2j, where array 1i minus array 2j yeah, should be less than or equal to d. Yeah, so this is a really, really difficult to understand. <laughs> Maybe we're going to try to check the examples to try to understand it. Yeah, because you see, there's not any. Yeah, so the only difficult to understand is that there is not any. Yeah, so such that there's not any elements inside array 2 where we're going to meet this kind of a formula. Yeah, so this means uh, not any means all. So this means not any less than or equal to, this means all the elements for the formula, it should be more than, more than the distance d. Yeah. So we just try to understand not any should equal to O and the opposite of this one. Yeah. And this is helpful for us to understand the problem. Otherwise, you directly uh, try to understand the not any as less than or equal to, it, it might be difficult. Um, to understand. Yeah. So this not any just means all the elements should be more than d. So this means, for, for, for example, this number 4, 4 minus all the numbers, so the absolute value is always more than uh, more than the distance d. So we're going to count it as 1. And this is another 1. Yeah. So according to this one, we can solve it by brute force. And it is not so difficult because this is an easy problem. But we can still use binary search to solve the problem. So the binary search idea is that we're going to sort the array 2. So for example, for array 2, after sorting, it's going to be 1, 8, uh, 9, and 10. And then we're going to check each of the numbers. So for example, we're going to check this number 4. We're going to use the bisect the left. And we just need to compare this 1 and 8. We don't need to compare all other numbers like 9 and 10. Yeah, because that is not necessary, because this is in increasing order. 4 is less than or equal to 8, 4 is more than or equal to 1. So definitely, uh, so yeah, actually this 4, yeah, should less than or equal to this number, and more than or equal to this number 1. So this means 4 is in between. We don't need to compare 4 with 9, because 4 with 8, that is enough to compare. So 4 minus 8, the absolute value is 4. 4 minus 1, the absolute value is 3. So we're going to choose uh, uh, the minimum it's going to be 3. Yeah, so this means uh, uh, for this number 4, it is OK. So next, we're going to check 5. So for 5, it is also OK, because 5 minus 8, the absolute value is going to be 3. 3 is also OK. Now, next, we're going to check 8. So for the number 8, uh, why we are using bisector left, uh, so it's going to be here. So this 8, uh, the index is going to be here. Yeah, so this means uh, uh, this 8 is going to minus 8, it's going to be 0, 8 minus 1 is going to be uh, 7, so what is the uh, minimum value? So it's going to be uh, 0. So 0 is less than or equal to d, and equal to uh, the distance, so that means it is not possible, so we, we will not count it. Yeah, so this is the idea of by using binary search to uh, solve the problem, but we need to check the boundary case. So because for some cases, we don't know the index after the boundary search. It may be here. Uh, so for example, this is the index i. It may be here. Or it may be go out of the boundary. Or it may be at the index 0. But we always want to, to compare two numbers, the current number and the number before it. Yeah. But the index can go out of the boundary. And the index can become 0. How can we deal with that? Yeah, we just need to prepare a negative infinity and a positive infinity inside of the sorted array. And then we're going to solve it easily. We don't need to have so many boundary cases attacking. And we can avoid making so many mistakes. Now let's try to solve it. First of all, uh, number 2, 
uh, array 2 gonna sort, and after that, I'll prepare some patterns like negative infinity um, plus array 2 plus the positive infinity because I'm gonna use the binary search. Now I'm gonna check each of the number inside of array 1. I will use the um, bisect and left, so i gonna equal to the um, bisect and left. Yeah, because I prepared a positive and negative infinity, so I can use it directly. So it's gonna be the array 2 uh, with this number. Now I want to check the current number, so if the absolute value. Now this i is always inside of the boundary, because I prepared the padding. As you can see, the padding is gonna make the problem really easy to check. So if uh, uh, array 2 i and minus n, uh, more than the distance and uh, absolute value of array 2, the previous value, it's going to be i minus 1 uh, minus the current number, uh, this n, is also more than and equal to d. So this means all the numbers are going to be more than, uh, I'm sorry, it's not equal, uh, more than d. All the numbers are going to be more than d. So I will count it result plus 1. Finally, I'm going to return the result. So this result is just a counter starting from zero. Now let me just run it to check. As you can see it works. Now let me submit it. As you can see it works and it's pretty fast. So what we really learn about this problem is that uh, we, we will do some kind of a padding for the binary search and this is always what I do. Otherwise, you, you will need to do a lot of eight tag and definitely you may make a lot of mistakes. So in order to avoid such kind of mistakes, are we going to prepare the padding? And this is what we learned from this problem. Thank you for watching. See you next time.